But anyway, since last week uh, at on Broadway in Cape Town, uh, th from Tuesdays through till Saturday, the hit musical called Gravy has been entertaining crowds, taking them back to an era gone by through a story of comedy, tragedy, drama, and of course a bit of romance as well. You saw them perform. The cast is joining us here in studio today. Good morning, guys. Hi. Hi. I've got Kelly, Belinda, Scott, and of course Matthew here with us today. Let's talk about this. Uh, I, I need to know the story behind uh, Kelly. If I could ask you that, tell us about the story of Gravy. Sure. Um, it's an 80s musical. Mm. It's about a girl, um, Belinda plays the role um, her name's Maria it's very really, like Southern American um, so basically it's about a girl who's struggling to become this international disco diva mm -hmm. um, but because of her father who is a pastor Pastor Harold right P Pastor Harold pastor we, Harold. Saw, we saw him we saw him and yes. um, obviously it's hard for her to achieve this dream because of the rules of the church and because her father is a pastor but it's got all your 80s music your earth wind and fire your Donna summer um, and it's definitely gonna get you up on your seats booging all right, yeah. Now, Belinda, I wanted to ask, because Matthew mentioned earlier on that most of you guys, like me, were born in the 80s. So how did you go about trying to relate to this kind of era? Um, I actually wasn't born in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> I, I just missed it. Just missed 1990. it. 1990. Yeah. So I, I, I just missed it. But I mean, I, like Matthew said, I also still grew up with my parents listening to the music all the time. So, you know, it still brings back memories and stuff, even though I don't really... I wasn't alive in the 80s. Um, <laughs> the music still, you know, yeah. brings back memories for me, yeah. Very true, very true. Now, Scott, I think you play the character that all of us want to play, but don't really want to play. <laughs> that, like, grandfather in the back who's always making the jokes but is trying to be serious. Tell, him, tell, tell me about your character and some of the other characters in the, in the show that are highlights. It's, it's great because all the characters are very colourful and they all have a lot of charisma and they're all sort of over the top. So they're all um, characters like the pastor who've been taken to the extreme um, and then somewhere through the production you get to see the, the vulnerability of the characters as well So it's it's great fun I think we all have a lot of fun being able to play the characters because they've all been very well written mm -hmm. um, And and they're quite open-ended as well So you you have a lot of room to be able to jump into it as an actor and, and run with the character I must say when, when when we met you a couple of months back when you were here with when Karma sleeps I would have never imagined you to be someone who'd be <laughs> speaking about the intricacies of characters and whatnot. You were rocking it out, man <laughs> um, Yeah, I think um, Many, many hands in many cookie jars, I think. I think <laughs> uh, we, we all like to feel around. As, as, as performers, just like, like Matthew, and Matthew will be able to tell you, I mean, this is the first time Matthew is, is acting as well. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason for people to come to the show and check it out. And it's, yeah. it's just nice to be able to um, perform uh, in, in an environment that encapsulates music and, um, and dance mm -hmm. and acting as well. Yeah. I think it brings out the best in you as a performer. Yeah. Now, I mean, Matthew, of course, your forte is the music side of things, but you weren't even supposed to be part of the initial cast. Well, it's actually an interesting story. I, uh, I came on board to, well, I was asked by Kelly, who directed and wrote the play, to come on board and just help the vocalists with their solo songs. And uh, there was a concept that they wanted where there's an audition scene. And uh, they said, literally just pointed at me and said, do you want to do it? And I was like, why not? <laughs> and then I'm basically this old guy and uh, he's, he's still waiting for his big break, you know, his gray hair and, you know, he's just struggling. And uh, he also auditions and then I'm also uh, the postman, the tap dancing postman. And I do, I do a tap solo in the, in the play as well. But that is for you to see. For Dude, you to can see you actually tap dance, like for real? For fortunately, real, fortunately, I went to Ward Front Theatre School, so uh, it's part of the syllabus and just, yeah, that's something that I, I think we're yet to discover what can Matthew not do? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's doing all these things. But Kelly, tell me some about, about some of the favorite uh, songs that you enjoy mostly in the, in the um, musical. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is a song that Belinda, Belinda sings, um, Last Dance, mm -hmm. by Donna Summer, and she does it amazingly well. Um, as well as um, Matthew performs September um, from Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh, yes. um, and he does a sort of like an acoustic version, which is, which is awesome. Um, and then also we've got a bit of like soulful, sister act kind of joyful, joyful. Um, With some fried awesome. chicken and gravy yes, and all of that. Yes. <laughs> we've got a caller on the line. Good <laughs> morning, Paul. Good morning. How are you? Goed dank, ik wil je iets te zeggen over die tachtigs. Ja, maar die tachtigs het ek, ek was op boerschool geweest en ek het in my schoolbroeken was gestoofpijp geweest <laughs> en ek die nou uitgegaan het met die snout denim gedraan met die wit kousen en een rooi heen. Dit was die inbind geweest daar ek. Yo, so ek een klein beetje mengsel van Grease en <laughs> beetje back to the past en alles van yeah. daar. Yeah. Bye, thank you yeah, very well, but did it. Thank you, we're tot ziens. Right. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We're looking forward to another performance at the end. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Of course, exactly. keeping it 80s, baby. I know that, that Lisa was sporting some kind of moves in the beginning. I wonder if she could do that while she's cooking in the kitchen. Let's check it out.